So we've all had to experience lockdown in 2020 with bad old COVID lurking around. We can't afford to be out too much or go to the cinema. But one common trend I've noticed throughout lockdown is celebrities giving musical performances. Many of them have sung songs across Zoom and other platforms to help, help alleviate the stress of current times. So I thought it would be fun to go through the various types that have popped up throughout lockdown. First, the single performances. I, I guess I should pick one to, to represent them all, so I guess I'll go with Stevie Wonder's cover of Lean On Me. What more do I have to say? It's Stevie Wonder. His cover really captures the emotion the song is meant to convey, whilst giving us his own spin, as well as a great tribute to Bill Withers. Just a good, honest performance, and I could say the same for many of the artists performing under One World Together at Home, all of them giving incredibly heartfelt performances with clear passion. The whole situation right now clearly isn't dampening their spirits, unless and they've made it their mission to brighten the days of others, which certainly works for me. I suppose single performances usually end up being the best because it's easier for the individual to concentrate on their own talent with little to no interruption. I wonder, what if more people get involved? For this, I've decided to use the example of the cover of Times Like These on BBC Radio, where lots of musicians, British and American, came together to make the cover of Foo Fighters' song Times Like These. Everyone takes turns singing and playing instruments, which is meant to form together into one cohesive piece. And it works! Despite going through so many different voices, the song feels totally consistent and easy to follow. And the voices are all complement each other really well. The rapping done partway through is a little intrusive to me, but it's not for too long and not a major downer. It could have easily come off as jumbled and messy, but they fine tuned it enough to sound pleasing. They clearly understood each other's playing and singing style and worked to complement each other. So yeah, this has been a very pleasant experience so far. I, I've yet to find one that's actually bad, terrible... Oh... Unfortunately, a memory just resurfaced. Gal Gadot did a cover of John Lennon's Imagine with many other celebrities and oh, where do I even begin with this? This cover is one of the most cringe-inducing things I've seen in some time. Like previously, it's sung by many, many different celebrities one after another, but they all sing at different tones and speeds, which just leads to a jumbled mess. I can't get invested in a song where the tone and pace changes every line. Some of these people really can sing, but they'll quickly be replaced by someone who can't. Some of them are just saying the lyrics, like Pedro Pascal. Ugh. People have brought the irony that these celebrities sing Imagine No Heaven during a pandemic, or Imagine No Possessions when they're rich, but you know, they didn't write the song. I won't hold that against them. What I can hold against them is a hilariously out of touch cover, which mixes too many tones to count and offers no peace during the world's troubles. Do better, famous people. But that does little to offset the impressive effort brought to us by many actual talented artists. There will always be people who wish to bring generally great entertainment no matter what the situation, and we can always find comfort in that. Any particular performances you think I could have covered, let me know. 